I'm about to reveal how you guys can create a free journal using Canva and then sell it through Amazon KDP. So let's get started. I'm pretty sure that most of you already knew this, but Amazon allows everybody to sell ebooks or even paperbacks using Amazon KDP. And I genuinely think that Amazon might be the best platform to sell any kind of items, digital or physical. That is because they've got a total number of 2.4 billion visits on a monthly basis, with most of their users coming from the United States. Over 80% to be more precise. And if you ever attempted selling items online, you probably already know that people from the US are the best target audience. Those are the kind of people you want to target. And there are some top tier countries in the list as well, such as Canada or the United Kingdom. But in today's video, we're going to be focusing on a very narrow niche. And that is all about low content books that can be sold through Amazon KDP. Now, in case you're not familiar with the concept, a low content book has minimal or no content on the interior pages whatsoever. And that includes notebooks, planners, journals, and a lot of other similar works. That's precisely what we're going to be focusing on, and creating this is just effortless. All you got to do is connect to canva.com and then create a new design. And from here on, I'm going to walk you through the process. First off, you want to create a custom size. So let's just pick 8.5 times 11, but you want to choose inches. Once that is out of the way, you can create a new design and start playing around. Again, this is a step-by-step -step tutorial, so you can just follow along with what I'm doing. First and foremost, I'm going to head over to the Elements section and search for a page. Once you've done that, you're going to be provided with a ton of different options, but I personally like this one right here because it's really, really simple. However, guys, let's face it, this doesn't look all that good, so we can customize it even further. At the end of the day, it is your product, so you're in full control. I'm just going to change the line color first and foremost, and then the page color as well. Again guys, you don't necessarily have to do exactly what I'm doing. This is just a rough guideline that you can follow along with. But still, this doesn't look all that good, so let's take it one step further. What I would do is head over to the background section and search for a certain texture that would fit well. And I think that a wooden texture would really look good, so let's add that. It really makes the page stand out. But now guys, let me be entirely truthful for a second. You're not the only one to sell low content books on Amazon. There are over 80,000 different results when you search for journals alone. And so if you really want to stand out here, you got to bring something new, something unique. And the first thing I would do is try to create some more functionality. If you think about it for a second, this blank piece of paper right here, it doesn't offer a lot of functionality. It doesn't offer a lot of value, right? It doesn't serve a certain purpose. And so guys, here's what I would do. I would select the elements section and search for a bookmark. I want to structure my journal so that it has different sections for different purposes. So let's add a couple bookmarks here. I'm just going to add those on the side. Now you can just right click on them and send them backward. Now you really want to make sure they stand out so you can pick a different color for each and every single one of them. Again guys, you do not have to do exactly what I'm doing. I'm 100% confident you can do a far better job than I can. Now guys, let's also add some titles. I would go for something like this. The first section is all about personal issues. So let us simply add that title and make it stand out. I'm gonna click on effects here and add a shadow. This is just to make it look better. Once that is out of the way, you can duplicate the page and create the second section that is all about work. And then finally, you can create the third one that is all about plans or future plans. Now, what you want to do up next is duplicate each and every single one of these pages. You want to have at least 10 different pages for each and every single category. Again, ultimately, these pages will be filled out with content by people. So you want to create room for that. Let's keep adding some more pages. And there's something else we can do as well. One simple thing we can do is also create a cover for this journal. And again, that is effortless. You can switch over to the elements section and search for a book cover. I'm just going to pick this one right here because it looks pretty good. Now let's also add some text. We really want to go the extra mile here and offer as much value as possible. I would go for something like this, Daily Planner High Achievers Edition. I'm going to make sure that it fits well on the page and then I'm going to make it stand out by adding some effects such as a shadow. It only takes a couple seconds to do it and it makes a whole difference. Once that is out of the way, you might as well want to add a background. Again, this is just to make everything stand out. And we are good to go. But now what about these bookmarks right here? They do not really serve any purpose. They don't have any functionality other than making the design look cool. So can we actually add some functionality using Canva? We can definitely do that. All you gotta do is click on one of these bookmarks, then select more and add a link. You're gonna link it to the next section. In this case, it's gonna be the work related one. So let's see, that is page 11. Let's just select that one and we are good to go. Link added. Let's repeat the same thing for the next one. You want to pick the yellow one, click on more and then link it to the final section. That is all about future plans. 
And I'm gonna do precisely that. That is page 21, so let's select it. And now ideally, if you really want this to work, you wanna make sure that people can also go back to the previous chapter. So that's gonna take a few extra minutes. Let's just select the red bookmark and link it back to the first section. I'm gonna keep doing this until everything is ready. And at this point, we also gotta make sure that it actually works. So let's put it to the test. What you can do is click on the share button and then click on present. There's our cover and everything looks good so far. So let's move over to the first page, personal. What about the bookmarks? Do they actually work? Let's test it. There you go. I can go to the second section and now I can go back to the first one. I can go to the third one and keep going back and forth for a while and everything works as you can spot. So at this point, we are also offering some functionality. But if you really want to take this to the next level, you want to take the time to specifically engineer each and every single page for a certain purpose. Here's what I mean. Now, this product is called the Finisher's Journal, and I absolutely love it. I actually have it right here. Now, I'm not affiliated or anything of that kind. I'm not here to promote your item. And instead, I'm trying to emphasize how you can market your product correctly. Here's what I mean. If you take a look at this side-by-side -side comparison between a regular planner and the Finisher's Journal, you're going to notice that a regular one has no structure whatsoever. It is really hard to measure progress. It offers all of those unnecessary boxes that you have to fill and it is for no one in particular. But when it comes to the finisher's journal, it is designed for entrepreneurs. It is simple and easy to stick to and it also offers all of these different advantages, right? And that's precisely why these guys are able to sell it for $39. Now, to be entirely truthful, it probably doesn't cost them more than 10 bucks to manufacture it. But the fact that they can market it correctly to a specific demographic and they can offer all of this functionality with each and every single page is what really makes them stand out from the crowd. That is why this is a winning product and most of the other journals on Amazon are not. And so guys, it all boils down to how much effort you are willing to put in. If you're willing to dedicate several hours and specifically engineer each page for maximum functionality, you're gonna offer some real utility behind your journal, that's gonna turn your product into a winning one. If you just want to create a rough template like the one I've done, this might work, but it's not going to make you rich, let's face it. However, I think that you have all of the resources you need to make it work. And of course, as always, competitor research is your best friend. Again, what you want to do is head over to Amazon.com, take a look at the best sellers, and try to really understand what they have done. And are the great case study would be the finisher's journal. You can learn a lot from these guys. All you got to do right now is take action. That's it for now, and thanks for watching.